first go to your browser and go to github.com click on sign up and enter your email all right mail the code city at the gmail.com click on continue now let's create a password click on continue again let's enter a username click on type n or y anything is fine click continue now there's a puzzle click on verify and now this puzzle might change so i just have to use my arrows keys to point this deer to the direction that the arrow is uh, the hand is pointing so it's this direction now click submit now click on create account you'll be sent a code to the email that you entered so go to gmail and here's the code copy it paste the code here and your account is ready now enter these things i'll just enter just me and na here click on continue you can leave these things unchecked you can use this later to continue again and we will choose free plan for now and finally our github is ready so this is the github dashboard or the github homepage. once you have your account let's see how we can push code to github first we need to create a repository in github right so let's click on create repository and just give it a name test repo is what i'll call it you can choose to write a description also you can make the repository public or private if you have made a repository public it will be accessible by using the github url if you have made it private it will only be visible to you and whoever else you give permission to so let's make it public for now and no need to change anything else just click on create repository so our repository is ready now whatever code we do on our computer can be pushed to this repository you can think of this repository is like a bucket so whatever you do you push it to this bucket now let's go ahead and open our visual studio code so that we can push code from visual studio to this repository now i don't have any project open here if you have a project it's fine but for now i will just open a folder let's say uh, there's a new project and just call this new project if you have a project you can open that folder but i just created this new folder so let me create a file that we will push to github so let's say test code.txt and you can have anything here you can have a python code you can have your java code you can have your php code javascript whatever for now let me just write code goes here now if you already have your project here no need to do anything now once you are ready to push to github what you need to do is first we need to initialize a git repository inside this project itself so you cannot push anything here the project that you push to git needs to be a git repository in itself so let's see how we can do that now go to terminal and click on new terminal now this terminal will open up what you need to do is initialize git repository inside this project so how to do that git init this is the command now as you can see initialize git repository message will be shown now if it shows something like command git is not found that means that git might not be installed in your pc so check the link in the description to see how you can install git okay now git is initialized now we need to add which files we want to push to our remote repository so generally you want to push most of the files right so how to select all the files to push to the remote repository you just do git add and this period so this means add all the files so all the files will be pushed to github repository now all the files are selected for tracking now what you need to do is you need to commit the changes so only the changes that are committed are pushed to github repository so let's say you have a few codes that, that are right and few code that are correct so if you had committed after your code was working what uh, then only those changes will be pushed not the newer changes changes after the commit are not pushed so how to commit git commit and then you write a message let's say feature sign up 
working on. All right, so this is the commit. And now we have a local Git repository. Now what we have here in GitHub is the exact replica of what we have in our local machine. Not exactly replica, let's say it's just a server or cloud storage of what we have here. Now, how to push from here? So first our project needs to know the URL, right? If it does not know the URL, it will not know where to push. So let's copy this URL or you can copy from just click this to copy and you write this command git remote add origin and paste that URL. Now this URL is added. So <clears throat> now you can push because we have initialized the git repository. We had added all the files that are needed to be pushed and we have committed. So everything before the commit will be pushed. And finally, we have added the origin where we want to push. So the command to push is git push origin. And here we need to write the branch to which we want to to which we want to push by default there's no branches here so we will just push to master now branch is like something where you put different features probably there can be a master branch which has your live or production code there can be a dev branch where you just push development code or test code so you can create multiple branches now you need to sign up so that github knows who is pushing so click on sign in with your browser and just click authorize git your system now sign up is complete if you go back here as you can see we have pushed to our remote repository now let's go back to our repository and reload and as you can see the test.code is here if you click on this the code goes here is here so this is how you can push from vs code now as you can see we have pushed to master branch if you want to change branch if you want to push to other branch what you can do is let's say git checkout and let's say we will name this branch test branch right so now okay so test branch is not there so that's why we are not able to check out to this so if it is not existing just add this and test branch will be created now if you check git status it will tell you on test branch nothing to commit working to clean because there are no changes so if we just change something here let's test stuff and we check the status it will show this file is modified commit the changes or something so let's just commit git commit and let's write testing this feature right now check your status again it will show you no changes nothing is modified we have everything is committed now let's push git push origin instead of master this time we are pushing to test dash branch so now pushing is complete let's go back here and let's go back to our repository and in the master branch Nothing has changed because we just made the change in our test branch. So let's go back and if we select test branch from here and click on this, as you can see, the new feature is here. So this is how you can push to GitHub from Visual Studio Code and create branches and check the status and all that stuff. So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.